welcome back to another video my name is destiny with the book things here and today we're gonna do my august wrap up or my august reset so i have been seeing these all over youtube and i decided i really wanted to do one um i am doing this in parts right now it is saturday the 29th of july i have a sick kiddo so you're i'm gonna put pieces in here um, what I'm hoping to accomplish is I want to get my house picked up and cleaned up. I want to change my curtains out in my bedroom, um, which I've done all these already. Uh, there will be footage here in just a second. I want to update all my journals and um, clean up my purse, which we're going to do. I might get done today. It may be done tomorrow, but I'm hoping to get that done as well. Um, but I wanted to do this intro and give y'all my books that I want to focus on in the month. I'm not calling it a TBR because honestly, every time my brain hears TBR, we're, I'm like, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and tell you what I want to focus on. I'm currently reading three and I'm doing a challenge for myself with those three. Um, but once I get done with that challenge and I finish those three, the next thing that I want to pick up. I have three uh, three library books and then two read-alongs that I'm doing. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. So the first library book is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yarrows. I've seen this everywhere on YouTube, TikTok, like it's everywhere. I have seen mixed results. Um, some people love it and are like, this is a new thing. And then some are like, I'm questioning everyone ta everyone's taste. So I'm excited to go into this, see what I think. Um, I know that she usually writes spicy romance, so I'm hoping for some spice. We shall see, I've not started it yet. Um, like I said, I'm doing a challenge already with three other ones, so I didn't want to throw this in with it. I want to do our own, my own reading vlog for it, just for itself, so there's that. The next library book, which I've had forever, and that is don't Fear the Reaper by uh, Stephen Graham Jones. This one is the second one in the, what is he calling this series? I can't remember. Uh, the Indian Lake Trilogy. So there's three of these. The first one was Stephen Graham Jones to me writes like what the fuck horror. Um, so the first one definitely was the what the fuck kind of horror and I loved it. I love the main character to be honest and that's why I want to go into this one because Jade truly believes that there is a slasher. Her name is Jade. Look at me remembering characters today. Whoop whoop. Um, Jade truly believes that there is a monster in the, in the there is a serial killer out there and that she is in her own horror movie and only she can see it and shit starts happening and she's like I'm telling y'all we're in a horror movie and this is continuation of that and I can't wait to see what shenanigans she gets into now um the last library book that I want to focus on this month and get done is One Dark Throne by Ka Kandra, Kandra? I know I'm saying that wrong Blake um this is the second one and the Three Dark Crowns. I was going to say Three Dark Queens. Three Dark Crowns series. So this series follows three sisters and each sister has their own ability. Um, they are in competition to be queen and they have a year where they have to, one sister has to kill the other two or two sisters are going to die. One, win, one will live and she becomes queen. Um, we have a poisoner, a naturalist, and an elemental. Um, they grew up together to a certain age and then I, I think it's six when they turn six they're separated into their separate abilities and go from there um and I'm interested to see where this goes if you have read the first one that last line was like what the fuck what the fuck wait how can that happen how can that even be a thing so I'm so excited I listened to the first one and my library did not have the rest of them on audio or they didn't just didn't have the second one they had the third I know I couldn't get my hands on the audiobook for this one so I'm going to physically read it all of these I'm actually going to probably end up physically reading so I have my work ahead of me I'm really excited though 
And then I have two of my physical TBR that I want to focus on. Um, I may end up picking up other things from my physical TBR, but these are the two that I want to focus on the most. Um, and if you saw my community post or my uh, thoughts about Akritar video, I will put it up in the cards. Um, I decided to let y'all know when I was going to reread Akritar and like open it up. So if I remember correctly, we're doing, um, this month we're doing A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Ring Wings and Ruin. So I'm hoping to physically reread both of these and do annotates with me. These annotates with me are going to be a little different because I have already annotated for the most part of this one. So I'm just going to go in and add my annotations on top of these. Um, what I've decided to do is some of the annotations in the back, I think I used when I looked, I'm right. So the annotations in the back of it are all, they're following, and this is why I want to re-annotate because my annotations are just like falling out. Um, the annotations in the back are in blue, so all of the ones that are already, are already there, I'm going to do in blue pen. And then my thoughts now and like new annotations are going to go in my colorful markers. Um, that way I can just kind of differentiate and I will uh, re-tab because the tabs are coming out. They were not very well done in the first place, so I'm going to do that. And then we have A Court of Wings and Ruin, which... I annotated very lightly in this one. Um, so I have never reread the three main Akritar. Um, the annotations that are in both of these are the ones that I took from my library copies and copied into my book journal with the page number and my thought. I did not do very well of telling myself where that thought popped in my head. Um, so they're a little off somewhat. Um, in all of these but this one I did not put page numbers down when I remember this I did not put page numbers down when I removed the sticky notes out of my library copy into my book journal I just saved all the sticky notes so I for some of this had no clue where they were at um, the ones that did have page numbers I went ahead and put in but this one's pretty much undone so there's only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's only 13 annotations in this one, and I know, I know for sure I made more annotations than that. And also, my lovely cats in one of my moves ripped my cover, so I'm gonna take clear uh, matte contact paper and cover this so I don't damage it anymore carrying it around, um, like I did for my copy of A Wise Man's Fears. Um, let me grab that. Hold on. Okay. So you. my copy of A Wise Man's Fear. As you can see, it's a little shiny. That's because there is contact paper over it to just protect it because it's such a chunky beast of a book and it's so floppy, I love it, um, that I noticed that it was starting to rip down here, which the contact paper is starting to rip down there too. Um, she just was not bound well. It's just such a big book um, and so it has a little tear here. It was just getting kind of torn up going in, in and out of my purse and everything. So I wanted to give it a little extra protection. Um, I love doing this method. I, most of my, if I bought a paperback book before 2019, 2020, all of them have this on it because it protects them. And I absolutely love it. I love it. If I spill something on it, it doesn't get it, doesn't damage it or anything. If you want a video of how I do this, let me know. But um, I will be doing that for A Court of Wings and Ruin because she definitely needs it. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to do both of these. If you want to read along, I would be more than happy to have you. Um, we're going to start with this on August the 1st. Um, I don't have a page breakdown or anything like that. If you want one of those, let me know. And I could definitely put one together. Um, but yeah. Those are the five books I'm hoping to focus on um, this month. Now I'm going to turn you over to the B-roll that I filmed of me doing my house pickup and changing my curtains, all that good stuff. Um, the curtains that I'm changing out are actually ones that were gifted to me by my grandmother. 
she had come and stayed the night with us and when she saw my bedroom she was like you need these they're perfect for you and I was like mm, okay granny fine I'll give them a try and so that's where that is I am sorry if you hear my neighbor mowing I just realized that he started mowing um in all of this so yeah there's that um but yeah so here we go and I will catch y'all probably at the outro no the clam my purse after this bit so let's go
have it there is my august reset we got the house picked up and cleaned up a couple days ago it's back pretty much a mess i still have dishes to do laundry's currently running but um we got the majority of it cleaned up and we got the purse changed out and cleaned out we discussed my tbr yeah so there's my august reset i feel like i'm going tomorrow into august prepared um the only thing else i want to get done tonight for sure is a little bit of yoga before i go to bed um but yeah i am so happy with everything i got done sorry if you hear the washer running but that's my life it's always running um but yeah i will see you on my next one bye guys